Hey guys, it's meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And we've got a lot of action. This Arctic front is what's really driving um, the snow in this forecast from Colorado, New Mexico, into the Midwest eventually, and then into the Northeast by the time we go Thursday, Friday. Let me take you down to Taos. Absolutely spectacular. They're reporting like two feet of storm total snow right now, and there's more for the, to come for the rest of the day. You're looking at one of the live cameras. It's a little bit frozen. Let me take into another one up here, a little higher up on the mountain. I mean, it's just absolutely spectacular down at Tahoe, Ski Santa Fe, Angel Fire. Ski those areas today. Ski them tomorrow. Um, ski Southern Colorado today. Ski Southern Colorado tomorrow, especially Wolf Creek, which I'll, I'll show you. Isn't that pretty with that snow coming down right there in Tahoe? Here is... Um, uh, this is Wolf Creek, and they're reporting 14 inches of new snow in the last 24 hours at uh, Wolf Creek. Great skiing today and great skiing tomorrow there at uh, Wolf Creek in southern Colorado. Let me show you what the pattern is here. So big dip in the jet escorting this uh, Arctic front eventually into the northeast, the Midwest and northeast. So that's the storm track. Let me show you where the front is. It's, it's kind of like right in here, and it's stalled down over parts of New Mexico. But anyway, this is becoming the battleground for all of this heavy precip. Um, and so what eventually what will happen is this will continue. There's snow in Chicago and Ohio, and then eventually it's gonna take aim at the Northeast. Thursday, Friday, that's where the best snow will be. So great skiing on Friday there, great skiing Saturday in the Northeast, and I'll show you my forecast for those ski areas coming up. Eventually this jet will lift out, and the storm track will then start to shift back to the Pacific Northwest this weekend, and there is even a clipper for the Northern Tier states, which I'll show you coming up as well. Um, let me just show you what the uh, the GFS is thinking about all of this. So here it is. Um, you can see the snow and blue sliding down through Colorado, New Mexico right now. By tonight into tomorrow, this is Thursday morning right here. It's moving out of New Mexico and it's developing into that Midwest storm with ice and snow. So some of these ski areas in the northeast, northeast will start as rain or ice and then change over to snow. Um, so this is, uh, there's Thursday morning. There's Thursday night. Look at that snow running through Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, into the northeast. Friday morning right here. Snowing in the northeast. During the day, it moves out. And by Saturday morning, it's gone. But excellent skiing up in the northeast for Saturday morning. Look at the northern tier states, that low racing across the the U.S. and Canadian border, that'll drag a little front. I'm going to back this up. That's going to drag a front through Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming between Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there's a little bit of new snow that will refresh those areas as a result of that front. And then that races into the northeast. And then high pressure builds in across most of the west for quite a while. Um, California, Nevada, Utah, I just don't have much of anything for quite a while. In fact, I'm gonna fast forward. Look at all these storms hitting the Northeast. I mean, that's where the active weather is. So this is Friday, the 11th of February right here, Friday morning. Um, here comes something between the 12th, 13th, and 14th. You can see it dropping down through Wyoming, Idaho, and into Colorado, um, and Utah. That might be something, but that is a long way off at this point. All right, so here are my totals. All of today through the 6th. You can see the leftover snow in Colorado and New Mexico, so there's still some yet to go. It's going to be great skiing there next couple of days. Look at that little front that drops down through Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. It looks like kind of a 1 to 4 inch snow with that. Better snow up on a Revelstoke and interior BC, and then there's a storm that rolls into the Pacific Northwest here late this week and weekend that drops about a foot, maybe a little bit more over Baker and Stevens Pass. So those areas will be okay. Let me show you the Northeast here. Um, again, Thursday, Friday, this kind of snow affects those areas, and I'm forecasting 10 to 20 inches basically there from Jay Peak down to Stowe, Mad River, Sugar Bush, Killington. That's going to be good skiing on Friday and even Saturday. To get out of the mix, I think in Massachusetts you're going to have a mix which will cut down on some of the totals. That's why it's better to be up in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine throughout that event. I'll go back to my totals across the west here. Just again, we'll end on this. Again, the snow in Colorado and New Mexico, that's happening now into, to, into Thursday morning, and then that storm moves away. Those totals you see up in Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming are from a front that races through basically Friday, Saturday, and early Sunday. So there you go. I hope everybody uh, can find some new powder out there. I appreciate you tuning in here. Take care until next time.